Gilbert Lewis was born on October 23, 1875. Um, he attended Harvard and he got his PhD at the age of 24 in 1899. Uh, he stayed in Harvard for a little bit, did a little bit of research with his professor, but they had a little fallout so he decided to go to MIT and continue his research there. Um, it wasn't until he got an acceptance, he, it wasn't until um, Berkeley sent him an offer to become a chairman in their chemistry department. So he decided to take that. He off. really wanted to make sure that his students had the best when it comes in term, when it comes to their education. So he really encouraged everyone to be collaborative, to work together, much like what pretty much what pretty much what we're doing at the science center, which is basically collaborating and working together as a team, and to be and to get involved into the whole into the whole world of science and. Chemistry. So, despite his contribution, so despite his dedication to Berkeley, uh, Lewis also made a, a big uh, contribution to the world, to the scientific world as well. Um, for one, he basically revolutionized the whole world of physical chemistry, and he introduced the whole idea of thermodynamics. And he also made his little contribution to Gibbs free energy as well. And um, probably one of the most popular contributions he's made is um, of his invention of the Lewis dot diagram. So at first, he really wanted to come up with a diagram that really showcased the um, sharing of bonds between in an atom. And um, this was this diagram was the first um, was the first description that showcased a co what a, what a covalent bond is. However, Lewis made many different contributions to the world of chemistry as well, and to many different fields. So, for example, he made other contributions contributions such as um, coining the word uh, photon which is the smallest unit of a radiant energy, and he also did some ex extensive research on, on isotopes. Today, Lewis is, still stands as the only scientist to make the most contributions into all fields of chemistry in American history. Uh, Lewis continued to do his research until his sudden death in March 23, 1946, 1946, in his laboratory at the age of 70. The end. Yeah!